today at my backyard trails, we're going to be doing work on Silly Sausage, again. I know we've been doing a lot of building on this specific trail, but don't leave because today's video is geared towards advanced riders. On Berm Crusher a little while ago, we built an advanced line off to the left side that turned out very fun to ride. Today, we'll do something similar here by building a shark fin transfer line that weaves through the trail. I can't fully explain it right now, but you'll understand once the build is underway. So to start, we're going to throw some rocks and sticks in where the lip's going to be so it can act as dirt filler. The rocks I used were all from this general area, and I didn't use them 100% for dirt filler. The main reason I actually used rocks is to preserve the look of this area and keep it looking natural. These minor changes we're making to improve the quality of the whole trail system is working, as this area keeps looking better and better with every change. Since that's out of the way, I can clear the topsoil off the area I will mine my dirt from. And now to chop all of this newly usable dirt back into the pit. You gotta admit, this looks pretty sick. It's like a waterfall of unlimited dirt supply. My back is sore from this one. I must have pickaxed tons of dirt, literally. It won't be put to waste though, as I can throw it directly at this new transfer. It's definitely a better option than wheelbarrowing dirt halfway across the property. All right, I don't think this is me. I think this is just something I screwed up. How on earth are we supposed to get from there to here? There's no way that's possible. So I think I might have to make this lip a transfer so that you can pull straight through here and then launch off the step up maybe into a hip. I don't know. The original plan, there's no way it's going to work because you can't get from that side of the landing right there to here. It just doesn't line up. I didn't even know what in the absolute heck I was thinking. I didn't even look at the jump before building it because I just assumed it would work like every other jump we've built. Before we keep going on the slip, I need to figure out a solution that will work here. All right, so I thought long and hard last night about what to do here and I figured something out. I'm gonna make a double lip for this first jump and I'm gonna make a taller side on the right so you can easily transfer into the new landing. Speaking of that landing, I guess I hadn't really explained it. Right now, it comes out at a curve about a foot and I want to totally flatten that so you can easily transfer. It looks pretty good now that it's done, so let's hope this new bigger lip option sends you into it perfectly. In my mind, that should create the perfect transfer line.
start, I just made the lip wider and tried to match the transition because I know what would be the smaller lip works perfectly right now. After I gave it a solid pack to ensure that it doesn't shrink, I added the dirt to the top to make the lip steeper. In some of the footage the drop is still here, but we had to take it out when I was in the middle of filming this video so the later footage won't have the drop. After hitting it, the lip felt great and that means more airtime which will give us an easier way to transfer into the new landing. So now all that's really left to do is build that last lip that we originally started work on. However, I do want to do one project first. I got a wheelbarrow of the best dirt we have over to this double lip and I want to cap it with this perfect clay so it stays mint looking for a long time. Once I made this double lip jump look absolutely prime, I had taken a break for about a week to work on other projects at the trails. Alright, quick update, it has been about a week since I've even looked at this new lip that we're building, and I honestly didn't know what to do, but now that I'm back, it's fresh and I have a good idea of what I think will work. If we build a shark fin that connects both lips, you can transfer as hard as you want into the landing, and I think that'll be a great use of space. By making this lip on the right side a shark fin transfer into the existing landing, one can go as far over as they dare. I want to build this jump with the purpose in mind that only expert riders will transfer from the far side. Let's start throwing dirt onto this lip. I'm going to keep with the strategy of raking all the rocks out mid-build because they won't come up to the surface later on. I always love the look of a rake takeoff that hasn't been packed yet. It just looks so smooth and satisfying. All right, enough of that. Let's get this lip solid. This lip even looks better packed than it did raked. The dirt that I used for this was insane. Let's get to trying it out now. While a lip that looks good doesn't always feel good, this one for sure does. Now the question is to see how far out I can pull. This thing's sick. Well, that was so much fun. As for the big lip on the previous jump, that's also a blast.
That's it for today's video, and I really hope you enjoyed this style of building where we get creative with what we already have. This line turned out super fun, and I'm gonna hit it every time I'm riding the sausage now. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.